Hi guys, this is TM over here and today I bring you a video tutorial in how to install new fonts in your Gear 2. So first of all just go ahead and grab your Gear 2 and then just go right here to settings scroll down till you find the gear info and then here make sure that you have the USB debugging on well for this tutorial you will also need root so if you don't have root access make sure you watch my video in how to root your gear 2 and then just go right here and complete the tutorial so for this tutorial you will need your rooted gear 2 a micro USB adapter and the USB to, U to micro USB cable. So first of all, just go right here and connect the adapter to your gear. There you go. And then plug in the micro USB into the adapter. And then connect the USB to the computer. Okay. So here in the computer, all you have to do is to close this little window that is right over here and then go to the to the download link that is in the description and you will find uh, the download link for these sample fonts you can open them up these are just some fonts that I that I downloaded and just for you to try but obviously you can download your own fonts and install them into your gear so I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm going to insert these fonts into my gear, so I'm just going to drag them to my desktop. Okay, so the fonts are over there. Uh, now, make sure that your fonts are in the TTF extension file. Just go right here, click on properties, and then type of file, true type fonts file. Uh, you need these. You need this type of file. Dot .ttf okay so net, now we had here the four fonts that we want to install in our gear so you can, obviously you can download your own fonts now let's go to the other link in the description where there are the instructions so if I click it it will redirect you to the uh, to the website where you, all you all you have to do is wait five seconds and then press skip add well then you will be redirected right here to the just paste it and as you can see I pasted here some notes uh, for now on I'm going to use this website instead of the of the wordpad in windows because uh, here I can uh, I can put uh, the comment lines in bold which I think uh, it's way easier to understand uh, so well let's begin so after you open this up, you can drag this right here and first of all, click on start and then type in CMD, open it up and then go right here and as you can see run the comments. So go ahead, copy the first one. Oh, and to do this, you will need to have the Tizen IDE for variable installed. If you don't have it, just uh, search in my videos and there you can find a video tutorial in how to install the SDB uh, Tizen variable IDE. So after you have that installed, just uh, just do this. Also first, so copy the first comment, then hit enter. Okay, so now go to the second comment, and then click on paste then enter and as you can see root is turned on if this message won't appear in your in your CMD window this means that you do not have root access so make sure you root your gear before you do this tutorial and then go to the last comment copy and then paste then hit enter okay so now you can minimize this and go ahead and turn on the Tizen IDE for variable. Well, I already have it turned on. So here in the connection explorer, we can find your gear. Now, all you have to do is follow this path to the fonts folder. Replace fonts path. 
user, share and then fonts. Okay, so here drag drag down and find user, open this up, and then click on share and then scroll down until you find fonts. Okay, so these here are the files that are inside the fonts folder. Well, so now all we have to do is put the fonts right here. So if you right click it, you will have here to push the file. Click on push the file and then just go to the desktop where you had your fonts. And as you can see, my fonts are right here. Those four fonts that I extracted. Well, you can select them all by clicking in the first one and then stay pressing the control button and then click the second, the third and the fourth and then release the control button. So now just click on open. Okay, so this will push the files into the gear and as you can see, uh, all of the font files were pushed into the gear, into this folder. And well, now this is practically done. All you have to do is close the Tizen ID if available and then go ahead and open up the CMD that you had opened before and then all you have to do is run this last comment so that the permissions are set to read only. Copy and then paste and then hit enter. Well. There's some error over here. Hmm. Device is busy. Well, I'm just going to disconnect this and check out what happened. Okay, so now here in the gear, all you have to do is go right here to the settings and then scroll down till you find a display and then click on fonts. Here in font you will find the font styles and right here you will have all the fonts you have. Well, I I like the Comic Sans that I installed. If you click it, after a couple of seconds this will change the font and well, as you can see, you can customize to every font you want. So just do the same as I did and then just customize your gear well so this is our and if you don't like the size click on font size and then increase the size of the font so if you like this video press the subscribe button and the thumbs up button and I'll see you guys in the next video so this is TM over here and I'll see you guys in the next video